Tour de Lama is a cycling event held at a, our winery that I own in the, out in the country in Yakin County. Uh, we have a llama farm with about 80 llama that are there. The winery is called Divine Llama Vineyards. It's a, a day filled with people coming and riding uh, three different routes. They can ride a 20 mile, 36 mile, 60 mile route. And when you get back, we have tremendous good food provided by our volunteer attorneys that cook for everybody. We raise funds and we raise awareness for Samaritan Ministries through that event. Tour de Lama reaches an entirely different group of people here in Winston-Salem as a fundraiser. It's a great outdoor family activity, and I think that's what increases its appeal every year. My journey to Samaritan was from Statesville, North Carolina. I came to Winston-Salem in the back of an ambulance. I stayed here for five months and um, I was out on the streets. You know, I'm also, I'm an amputee, so it wasn't easy, but I found myself hanging around the same old kind of people that I was back at home. And like the NA book says, you bring you with you. So a geographical change wasn't gonna help me you know, because I still had the same thinking. So I had heard about Cornerstone, somebody planted a seed in me about Cornerstone. And I finally came here one day and I begged for help. I was in tears, I was, I was just a mess. She sent me to detox. And finally, when I got out of detox, I came back to Cornerstone and she put me right in. And it was one of the hardest decisions and the hardest things that I've ever done in my life but I look at it as the best decision and the greatest thing that I've ever done in my life. And I'm so thankful that they did let me in the cornerstone. I, I really think I would be dead if Samaritan didn't exist. You know, if, if this place didn't exist, I'd actually probably still be out there on the streets if I was lucky, because without God, I, I wouldn't have stood a chance fighting this. We are the only soup kitchen in Winston-Salem, and so we serve between 300 and 400 people every single day. Um, so we are really the primary source for people to get lunch, um, which for a lot of our guests is their primary meal of the day. Um, and we're blessed to be able to be open 365 days a year to be um, that source of a meal for people in our community that are hungry. I think people assume that people that are homeless chose to be and that they made certain decisions to end up in that scenario when it's really far from the truth. What I've seen in the relationships that I've built with some of our guests that have experienced homelessness is it's a lack of affordable housing, it's domestic violence, it's um, drugs and alcohol, it's a couple bad decisions, but each person that ends up homeless has a journey and a story that they got there and it's not necessarily by their choice. Oh, my life is great now. I have my own apartment. I've been clean for almost two years. I'm fully independent now. All my bills are paid on time, and I, I'm enjoying life now. I get up and I pray, and I thank God for everything that He's gave me. It makes me emotional to think how many people care for Samaritan. You know, when I was using, I didn't think that there were any people out here that were that nice that would just do things out of the kindness of their heart. It, it touches my heart that people would do that for somebody like me. You know, I would, I would like to tell you that it makes a big difference in people's lives. It's made a big difference in my life. There is no way without y'all's help that I would be here today. Thank you.